In mathematics, a binary operation is commutative if changing the order of the operands does not change the result. It is a fundamental property of many binary operations, and many mathematical proofs depend on it. Most familiar is the name of the property that says 3 plus 4 equals 4 plus 3, or 2 times 5 equals 5 times 2. The property can also be used in more advanced settings. The name is needed because there are operations, such as division and subtraction, that do not have it. Such operations are not commutative, or non-commutative operations. The idea that simple operations, such as multiplication and addition of numbers, a commutative was for many years implicitly assumed and the property was not named until the 19th century when mathematics started to become formalized. Common uses the commutative property is a property generally associated with binary operations and functions. If the commutative property holds for a pair of elements under a certain binary operation then the two elements are said to commute under that operation. Mathematical definitions The term commutative is used in several related senses. A binary operation on a set S is called commutative if an operation that does not satisfy the above property is called non-commutative. One says that X commutes with Y under if a binary function is called commutative if examples. Commutative operations in everyday life putting on socks resembles a commutative operation since which sock is put on first is unimportant. Either way, the result is the same. In contrast, putting on underwear and trousers is not commutative. The commutativity of addition is observed when paying for an item with cash. Regardless of the order the bills are handed over in, they always give the same total. Commutative operations in mathematics Two well-known examples of commutative binary operations. The addition of real numbers is commutative, since, for example 4 plus 5 equals 5 plus 4, since both expressions equal 9. The multiplication of real numbers is commutative, since, for example, 3 times 5 equals 5 times 3, since both expressions equal 15. Some binary truth functions are also commutative, since the truth tables for the functions are the same when one changes the order of the operands. For example, the logical biconditional function PQ is equivalent to QP. This function is also written as PIFFQ, or as PQ, or as EPQ. The last form is an example of the most concise notation in the article on truth functions, which lists the 16 possible binary truth functions of which 8 are commutative. VPQ equals VQP, APQ equals AQP, DPQ equals DQP, EPQ equals EQP, JPQ equals JQP, KPQ equals KQP, XPQ equals XQP, OPQ equals OQP. Further examples of commutative binary operations include addition and multiplication of complex numbers addition and scalar multiplication of vectors, and intersection and union of sets. Non-commutative operations in everyday life concatenation, the act of joining character strings together, is a non-commutative operation. For example, washing and drying clothes resembles a non-commutative operation. Washing and then drying produces a markedly different result to drying and then washing. Rotating a book 90 degrees around a vertical axis then 90 degrees around a horizontal axis produces a different orientation than when the rotations are performed, in the opposite order. The twists of the Rubik's Cube are non-commutative. This can be studied using group theory. Also thought processes are non-commutative. A person asked a question and then a question may give different answers to each question than a person asked first and then. Because asking a question may change the person's state of mind. Non-commutative operations in mathematics Some non-commutative binary operations. Subtraction is non-commutative, since. Division is non-commutative, since. Some truth functions are non-commutative, since the truth tables for the functions are different when one changes the order of the operands. 
For example, the truth tables for f equals a lambda b and f equals b lambda a a matrix multiplication is non-commutative since the vector products of two vectors in three dimensions is anti-commutative, i.e., b times r equals minus history and etymology. Record of the implicit use of the commutative property go back to ancient times. The Egyptians used the commutative property of multiplication to simplify computing products. Euclid is known to have assumed the commutative property of multiplication in his book Elements. Formal uses of the commutative property arose in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, when mathematicians began to work on a theory of functions. Today the commutative property is a well-known and basic property used in most branches of mathematics. The first recorded use of the term commutative was in a memoir by François Servoir in 1814, which used the word commutatives when describing functions that have what is now called the commutative property. The word is a combination of the French word commuter meaning to substitute or switch and the suffixative meaning tending to, so the word literally means tending to substitute or switch. The term then appeared in English in Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society in 1844. Propositional logic, rule of replacement in truth functional propositional logic, commutation, or commutativity refer to two valid rules of replacement. The rules allow one to transpose propositional variables within logical expressions in logical proofs. The rules are, and where, is a metalogical symbol representing, can be replaced in a proof with truth functional connectives commutativity is a property of some, logical connectives of truth functional propositional logic. The following logical equivalences demonstrate that commutativity is a property of particular connectives. The following are truth functional tautologies. Commutativity of conjunction commutativity of disjunction commutativity of implication commutativity of equivalent set theory. In group and set theory, many algebraic structures are called commutative when certain operands satisfy the commutative property. In higher branches of mathematics, such as analysis and linear algebra, the commutativity of well-known operations is often used in proofs. Mathematical structures and commutativity. A commutative semigroup is a set endowed with a total, associative and commutative operation. If the operation additionally has an identity element, we have a commutative monoid. An abelian group or commutative group is a group whose group operation is commutative. A commutative ring is a ring whose multiplication is commutative. In a field both addition and multiplication are commutative. Related properties. Associativity The associative property is closely related to the commutative property. The associative property of an expression containing two or more occurrences of the same operator states that the order operations are performed in does not affect the final result, as long as the order of terms doesn't change. In contrast, the commutative property states that the order of the terms does not affect the final result. Most commutative operations encountered in practice are also associative. However, commutativity does not imply associativity. A counterexample is the function which is clearly commutative, but it is not associative. More such examples may be found in commutative non-associative magmas. Symmetry Some forms of symmetry can be directly linked to commutativity. When a commutative operator is written as a binary function then the resulting function is symmetric across the line y equals x. As an example, if we let a function f represent addition so that f equals x plus y then f is a symmetric function, which can be seen in the image on the right. For relations, a symmetric relation is analogous to a commutative operation, in that if a relation R is symmetric, then, non-commuting operators in quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics is formulated by Schrödinger, physical variables are represented by linear operators such as X, and, 
These two operators do not commute as may be seen by considering the effect of their compositions and on a one-dimensional wave function. According to the uncertainty principle of Heisenberg, if the two operators representing a pair of variables do not commute, then that pair of variables are mutually complementary, which means they cannot be simultaneously measured or known precisely. For example, the position and the linear momentum in the x-direction of a particle are represented respectively by the operators and this is the same example except for the constant. So again the operators do not commute and the physical meaning is that the position and linear momentum in a given direction are complementary.